Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Archer Fangs, and as always, we're playing Diablo 3 Reapers of Souls. So, one thing I need to like first like, explain why I didn't upload on Friday is because my computer was like acting up somehow. I don't know what was the problem, but that problem is already fixed. Uh, so no worries. I don't know. It's probably like it was like acting weird for some reason. There was no time where I tried to open a file or something, which is like crash on some, some, my computer somehow. I, I don't know where it was. So that's good. My computer's back up and running, so I can start uploading videos and for you guys. Back to the game is that uh, in Diablo three in the last part we actually. Um, we killed Adrian, we got some runes that we needed to activate this battering ram to enter the pandemonium castle or fortress. There it is, breaching the fortress. Yeah, but before we head over to the fortress, we're going to actually craft some inventory. Because right now, before I started recording, I saw that some of my clothes armor are low level like i'm already level 51 and look i have these gutnets or gloves that's level 37 and i have these shoulders 39 uh 44 so i'm gonna try to make it like up to date like at least level 50 gear so we're going to speak to this guy hatred we're going to train him So let's just craft something random. Now here comes the 50 gear. <clears throat> let's see. We got that. And why not? Let's just. These are level 55. I'm not gonna do that. Alright, so we're gonna craft stuff. So I'm level 44. So right now I need to craft something like this. A level 50. There's no difference in between the... Like the stuff I'm wearing. No need... Like there's not much of a difference. The only thing you see is armor. Like poly armor goes up like 40 here, 50. This is 244 armor. So let's craft a 50 and see what we get. And that also means that most of my skills are gonna require like a little reworking in the formats or my character build in the format that some of my skills might lose or benefits damage. So this is okay, this is better. This one has a socket. It's not giving me anything like life per second or hatred per second so we're gonna savage and craft another piece I believe the more you craft the better the gears gets I could be wrong uh, this could be nice Look, it's giving me a companion damage up but I don't use my companion so this is savage okay this could be better by the way, this could be better. It gave me Rain of Vengeance plus Cold Resistance. And that gave me seconds, so I could equip that. So now I have a red color armor piece. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. Okay, let's just finish upgrading our gear. And also, another thing I want to get is. Uh, Let's start with the lowest level, which is my gloves and shoulders. So level 50. Let's craft this. So I'm just going to have like about three of them and see what it is. See what we get. I don't want to use a lot of, of that veil crystal. The orange symbol on the required materials. The orange is veil crystals. The other thing is um, arcane dust, I believe is what it's called. And then... I think it's scraps. I don't know what I forgot what they are. 
you get them from you get them from this um savaging gear yeah the common items will give you scraps the blue item give you arcane dust and the yellow gives you well crystal uh, I don't know about this let's create another one um this could be better let's equip this what do we have here we have a lot of stuff so if I savage this I'm gonna get crafting materials I get that so if I savage this I'm gonna get arcane dust I believe and then the yellow one gave me the let's you can check out the materials if you're like wondering what they what you get from I think it's right here no right here no Where the heck are those material skulls? You could have checked them. Oh, right here. Yeah, Arcane Dust, Veil, Crystal, Forgotten Souls from Legendary Gear, and Reusable Parts are from Common Items. Alright, let's go here. Alright, Rain of Vengeance is the one that's getting boosted on these shoulders, so I'm gonna have to grab a better one. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Let's try another one. Nope, another one. I'll try going for the first one instead. Uh, yeah, Savage. Let's just go for the first ones. Alright, let's see. What else are we low gear? Helm. Level 36. Let's crack this. Nope. Yeah, it's always best to optimize your gear. Nope. Like every once in a while. Nope. I'm not getting anything, anything other than dexterity and damage. Boost and I, this is my last gear. Holy darn. Uh, I'm gonna have to stick with this helmet then for another time for a couple more parts. In that 39, I can craft these. I need jewels. I craft some components for my buddy. Uh, the ones in the 40s are okay for now. But the ones that are like on level 30, that's the one I need to update the most. Like this one's level 33. I can craft one right here. And what about weapons? Well, I'm not gonna craft any weapons because I'm good to go. So let's continue where we were. So I know I wasted like about seven minutes updating my gear. I'll probably make this video a little bit longer. So we have to go to the siege outpost. So we must board the ramp. Let's do that. We're already here. Bridge the fortress gate. I'm using grenades, vault, fauna knives, or not fauna knives, drive, Still waiting. sentry, uh, rain of vengeance, and chakra. If you guys are wondering. So I didn't get to upgrade my skills because none of my armor gears that I got, the new pieces, didn't affect some of my Destroy damage. We can't move until increase for my certain element skills and actual skills. Like the specific ones. <clears throat> Shatter the hooks. Not ready yet. Destroy those hooks. 
We can't move until they're gone. We only have one strike left. Alright. One strike left. This is gonna open. This is gonna be it. Let's take the swing. Bam! Oh shit, we just broke the it. gates are down. Yeah, rambunctious. Oh, nice. Let's go in here. Pandemonium Fortress Level 1. Holy dang. Oh, we got Bullseye Bow. Let's check that out before we go in. It kind of sucks that my companion can now wear use um, hand bows or hand crossbows, but he can use bows and crossbows. There's a checkpoint here. Let's continue to talk to Tyrio. Pandemonium right here. Fortress. When I fought Mount Ale, my sword passed through him like air. He is in a state of death and life, impervious to physical harm. Your strength is not enough. To defeat him, you must channel the power of death as he does. There are many spirits here. Perhaps they can help. The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Malthale is, and you could face him. But you must find a way, quickly. Every moment, thousands die, and Malthale's power grows beyond anything I have ever seen. Go to the spirit well. So, okay. So, have you guys missed the cutscene for the beginning of Act um, 5? I don't know if you guys noticed that Malthale, he's actually impervious to physical damage. Do you recognize me? Halissa. Uh, you sound like my sister. Yeah, so he was impervious to damage, physical damage, and that means, well, well basically, um, Terio said that he channels, uh, um, power from actual life and death, so you need to actually find a way to achieve that as well, to, um, uh, able to fight him equally. Alexa, it cannot be. This is some trap. What? Don't you know your own sister? I lost you many years ago. Yes, but now I've found you again. Someone bad keeps me here. Can you make him go away? Yes, but first I will need your help. Find the soul prison in Pandemonium Fortress level 2. Alright, so what's over here? What's going on? Oh. Nephilim, the Black Soul Stone journeys through the portal to Sanctuary. Even now it spreads death across your world. And so ends the eternal conflict. Okay, all right. That was weird. Unexpected cutscene, but nice. All right, where were we? We have to go through here. What's over here on the other side? Probably be a dead end, isn't it? Yep, dead end. We have to proceed to the portals. So yeah, we have to achieve a way to channel that. That's like another power so we can fight him equally because you know if you try fighting Maltheo like, th like that you know he's gonna have a advantage advantage against us so and we'll be able to fight him very well because he's gonna have we're gonna have a disadvantage in the way that he can go into death and kill us let's go here play some sentries it's a strife. I grow weak. You're getting too good at this. They call me a hero. I slew demons beyond count. I won battles and broke sieges, but it availed me nothing. I know that this war can have no victor, only an eternity of revenge, pride, and hatred. Tyrael does not understand. He cannot see beyond the glory of battle. In time, he may. But that day is not yet here. The testament of Inarius. All right. Be 
kill the yellow guy. Alright, so let's head this way. What the heck, why am I stuck? Oh, there's the, some rocks there. And the bus. There must be others who seek a way out of the endless strife. Angels and demons who feel enslaved by our fate. I cannot be unique in all of creation. I know my path. I will find those disillusioned of the war and lead them. My father is content to fight the same battles and the same foes while everything turns to ashes. Though his victories might last a day, or a year, or a hundred years, the war will never be won so long as he and his brothers lead. There is an end to it. But fools like my father are too blind to see it. Alright, so we heard that. Oh shit. Right, where should we go? I think we have to go this way. Oh shit, we need some punks trying to ambush us. Oh no, yeah, we got him. Never ambush us when we had grenades. Pip. That's very suicidal. My hatred is too low. to go this way I uh, no I think it's the same layout as before if you think about it look how it looks it's probably the same that to go this way I need more hatred to do that level up to low 52 nice that's what like Let's see, so we have Central Room, Polar Station, nice. Hungry Narrow, Spray of Teeth, uh, nice. Preparation Room, Backup Plan. So nice, so we got new stuff, uh, new skills. So Polar Station, the tourist shows nearby enemies, nice. So what they do is they shoot enemies, but they have like a radius where they kill nearby enemies. Then have uh, preparation room, which is backup plan. Grants a chance that the cooldown will not be triggered when using preparation. I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna stick with vault. All it does is gives you 30 discipline and has a 45 seconds cooldown. Then we have hungry and narrow with Spray of teeth, critical hits cause enemy bone to explode. We could try it out, but then I'm gonna switch it back to grenades. Also, I think there's a way you could check the differences of what it does. Let's see. Oh, I like right here. Show advanced tool tips. So now, like for example, like let's see. If you put that enable the show advanced tooltips, 
when you go to skills, I could see the actual number, what it does. You see, and now you have something more different, right? It just said critical hits cause a burst of bone to burst from the enemy or something like that. But now it has dealing 60% weapon damage to enemy within 10 yards. And also tells you that now Hunger Nero is turned to cold, lightning, shadow shot, fire to serrated arrow, and all that kind of stuff. So now I can actually equip stuff that... Um, goes with my fire, but I'm not going to do that right now, I'm going to do that probably next video, so I don't want to waste a lot of um, time, and only fire damage increased by 8%, which, uh, yeah, it could be a nice small difference, increase. So yeah, grenade, and strife, and venom are like my top 3, and then sentry is cold. So let's continue with the video. Let's try the sentry, seeing how they chew. So now the, the sentries are cold damage or ice base. Let's see. So. I'm just gonna call it in right here because there's already like about 22 minutes into the video. I don't wanna like have a super long video for you guys. I know I spent a couple of minutes um, customizing my armor at the beginning of the video. Um, we're gonna go to searching for a Pantemonium Fortress level 2 in the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Especially if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're enjoying my videos. So yeah. And if you have any questions about the game, or about my channel, or you have any thoughts about the game, what you think about it, or what you think about my channel, all that kind of stuff, shenanigans, you know, whatnot, let me know in the comments below. And as always, with your thanks, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!